while building a large scale application we need to deal with several secret keys and hard coding our secret keys is really not a good choice if someone has our secret keys then it can lead to several security vulnerabilities in this video we are going to learn how we can fix this problem and we are also going to learn all the security measures that we can apply to hide our secret keys inside our app. So let's start. For our example, we are going to be using this recipe searching app. What do we need to do? We need to use the search box and we need to search for the item that we want. In this case, let us search for pizza and it will list all the items that contains pizza and we can search any of the recipes for the items that we want. When we click on the item, it will show all the ingredients and all these things are coming from a RESTful API. Now let us have a look in our app. If we check the API fetching logic, you will find that we are fetching API from this URL we are also specifying the search query and then we are mentioning our API key. So this is our API key, but now we are hard coding our API key directly inside our application. This is not a secure way to do because if somebody is reading our code files, then they can easily get our API keys and they can also use our API key. So for security purpose, this is not okay. So let's do some changes so that we can hide our secret keys. For this, we will be needing flutter.env package. So simply add flutter.env package inside our dependencies. So we can also use flutter per bat command to add the dependency. Now our flutter.env package has been installed. Let us use it inside our app. Inside our folder structure, we need to create a new file, name it as .env. And now here we need to add our key values. First key, let us make it as API key. First, let us copy the API key. And here we will be creating a variable named API key. And we will paste our API key here. If we want, we can also copy the endpoint in our environment variables. So let us just copy the endpoint and here we'll create a new key. It will be our endpoint and here we'll paste the URL of the endpoint. Now we need to go inside our main.dart file. Here let us make our main file async and here we will call await.env.dart load here we need to specify the name of our file and our file name was env it means that we are loading the env file when we are calling the main function now we can access the env variables by simply calling dot env dot env now what we can do here, here we can create an init state and inside init state we can print our environment variable. We need to use dot env dot env and here we need to specify the key. Let us give the key as endpoint. When we will visit our home page, it will print the endpoint. Now you can see that it is printing the endpoint correctly. 
as we have mentioned in our endpoint. So this is the way we use dot env variables and access environment variables inside our app. So let us do the modifications inside our API fetching logic. Let us delete the endpoint from here because we'll be accessing it from dot env variable. So for that, let us use dot env. Make sure that you are importing the package flutter dot env. And now we need to add dot env and the key. Our key was endpoint. Now we need to also do the same thing for our API key. Only difference will be there. The key was API key. Now we are all good to go. Let us run and test our app. Now let us try something different. Let us search for mango. Now here it is showing all the recipes that are made using mango. So it means that it is working and it is fetching the value from our environment variable instead of the value that we have hard coded. Now we need to also perform the same thing for our ingredient fetching logic. Just simply copy and paste it. Here we need to specify our endpoint. Just copy the endpoint and paste it. And also do the same thing for API key. Just remove it and paste it. Now let's restart our app. Now let's try to test the ingredients. Now it is working fine. So this is the way we use environment variables. But one thing is still left that we need to do. Here what we need to do. Here we need to be adding dot env inside our get ignore. Because if we push this repository inside github or anywhere. We don't want to include .env file. Just add a line .env. It means that we are ignoring .env file. We can also add a multiplication sign. It means that it will ignore all the .env files. And now just save it. This is a very important step. If we don't do this, then it will also push the environment variables. Then it will have no meaning to do that. So that's all for this video. I hope that now you will be able to handle your API keys and secret keys easily and securely. So that's all. Thank you.